Good morning, Quiet Copter 101. What I got for you today is a neat review here at uh, Trona Pinnacles in Trona, California. This is the Mantis 85, a little micro FPV racer. What's so special about the Mantis 85? Well, it's an under $100 racer is one thing that's special about it, but it's all the features you get for under $100. You get a 48 channel, um, yeah, 48 channel uh, mic or, or all in one FPV camera with OSD capability. Okay, we got OSD built into the flight control board. The flight control board is a uh, omnibus F4 flight control board loaded up with the latest version of Betaflight as of this date. Uh, Betaflight 3.2.0. And again, it has uh, on screen display built into it so that you can uh, easily adjust it through uh, Betaflight there. Um, additionally, you can access the menus using your controller to adjust the PIDs while out in the field. Um, we also get, get a beeper with this uh, particular quadcopter. We got a 4 in 1 10 amp ESCs built into this. Uh, it provides, or not 10 amp, 6 amp ESCs, I'm sorry. 4 in 1 BL Hell ES ESCs at 6 amps. We also got 9,000 kV motors, 1102 9,000 kV motors, so it should give it plenty, plenty of oomph. We got a 7.4 volt. Uh, uh, 400 milliamp per hour 30C battery on here that's provided that hopefully that should give us a sufficient flight time. And again, this comes available in BNF versions in uh, uh, Free Sky, which I got, Fly Sky, and uh, DSM2, DSMX. Now, one thing I didn't, there are two things I didn't like about this, and that's the antennas on this for both the FPV and the receiver. The FPV antenna on the all in one camera. Um, it looks pretty flimsy the way that it's attached here. I'm worried about it breaking off and crashes here. You know, it's uh, soldered there, and you hit this uh, little monopole antenna hard enough, you might be able to break that off. Uh, additionally, the way the uh, micro FPV uh, rece er, receiver antenna is installed is it could easily flop into these blades. What, the way I got it out of the way the blades was I installed a zip tie on here and then used shrink tubing over that to make sure that this does not get in the way of the blades. And I'm also kind of worried about the battery cables getting in the way of the blades. So I'm going to twist them up good so that they won't do that. So again, this is all available for under $100. I think that's a pretty darn good deal for an all-in-one brushless FPV racer. So let's go for a flight of this thing, see how it performs. So we're going to start off first with um, uh, line of sight flying, and then we'll switch right into FPV. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, turning on my T8SG, which I have set to Free Sky right now. Again, this T8SG is a really neat transmitter. It can transmit on any of the, most of the major protocols, so you don't have to worry about which ver BNF version you get, because this one will bind with it. Really cool transmitter. I really like it. Um, Let's turn on the quadcopter. Again, I'm going to twist this wire a little bit here. The main reason being I want to make sure it's got a little bit of twist so that it stays out of the way of the propellers. And I am going to also put this down in there so that also stays out of the way of the propellers. We are ready to start off in angle. Angle flying. Okay, I got it set to angle and arming the motors. And let's take to the air. Neat little quadcopter. Let's bring it in close. And punch it. Uh, not a lot of punch out of this. And notice the beeper going off. Uh, I am not going to pay attention to that beeper, mainly re reason being that uh, I do also have uh, on screen display of the actual voltage. Let's land it and go into acro flying of this thing. Okay, here we go. Hope you enjoy this flight. And I am arming the motors now, or selecting acro, and arming the motors. And uh, let me adjust my, my goggles on my face here so they can see a little bit better. And we got 7.7 .7 volts right now. Uh, that battery didn't last very long after that. But let's go around the area here. It's saying 6.4 volts already, 6.5, 6.7. I got another battery, folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap batteries. This stock battery that I got here seems to be somewhat weak. But before we do, let's go up and at least do one of these. <laughs> 6.3, 6.4. Again, I do have other stock batteries for this. And we'll get, we're going to switch batteries here shortly because this stock battery here seems to be defective. 
Let me bring in the landing pad. We're going to switch batteries here shortly. Hold on. Fortunately, I have another, or had another battery, exactly the same as the stock battery. <laughs> it's quite common battery, actually. Okay, arming. And uh, actually, selecting acro, and then arming, and taking to the air. And let's see how this works. Now, this says it has a 200 meter range on the FPV. I find that hard to believe, unless it's a 200 milliwatt transmitter, it might be. Who knows? Let's fly by us here. Going over here. Meteor, you to fly, huh? Already it's sucking down the battery power of that thing. <laughs> 6.7 volts going up again. Going out over the desert. Coming back toward us this way. Going off to those pinnacles. Need area to fly, huh? So, well, you know, for under $100 quadcopter, you get a lot. Uh, I would recommend using a different battery than the stock battery, though. This, this stock battery is not very good, as you can see. It's already saying I, I keep dropping below. Let's go around that pole there. But, all in all, it's flying very nicely. Zoom! Ooh, I don't want to hit that pinnacle. <laughs> nice flyer. Let's select uh, acro or air mode. I'm in air mode now. <laughs> Does that went very well in air mode, don't it? <laughs> Under hundred dollar brushless micro FPV racer, not bad. I kind of like it. Just get a better battery for it. And batteries are cheap and plentiful and widely available. Is that thing cry? Beep, beep, beep. Go back to air, right? Acro. Because I'm going to be landing here shortly. Okay, now it says the voltage is nice. If you slow it down, slow down the drain from the battery, then yeah, you can fly nice and long. But that stock battery, if you push it, you see what happens, folks. Hey, nice area to fly around, huh? Okay, 6.5, 6.7 again. See when you, when I was, I'm going to fly smooth and slow so you can see the area here because it is a pretty place to fly. But uh, again, uh, when I was flying at high speed, you see what happens. Boy, I'm far away. <laughs> you do get 200 meters reception or 100 to 200 meters reception because I am far away, folks. I'm down the road here. I better come back close. We'll fly it, do a slow flyby here, or well, maybe a fast flyby here. Here it comes. Zoom! For the final portion of this flight. I want to get more flight time out of this, so I'm just, I'm being gentle with that battery. Okay, now that battery's getting tired. So I got to think about landing. I will do that. We're going to come around the back here. Come around the back. Yeah, I got to land. Coming around and... And disarming. So, okay, let me make sure I got that video. Hold on, folks. Camera DVR. Hitting stop. I did get that video. Um, I will take the hat back from my wife. I'll make sure I'm disarmed. Thank you, love. You like my shirt today, folks. <laughs> so, okay. So that was the Little Mantis 85. A sub $100 a uh, micro FPV racer. Um, it flew very nicely. The only thing I don't like about it, well, I guess these antennas are okay um, because we got really good reception. But the only thing I don't like about it is the stock battery. Get yourself a better battery, uh, a little more milliamp per hour than 400, um, a little more C's than 30C. 30C is not, a per, not enough for this particular quadcopter because it was sucking the juice there. Uh, so you can do stunts. This can do stunts. You saw I could do stunts. But um, doing stunts with this stock battery is going to drain the battery very quickly. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Very good little quadcopter of the Manus 85. Signing out.